Welcome back to Flat Hats at Home, bringing a little bit of Redwood National and State Park to you and your home. Now, let's make like a fish and dive right in. Hi everyone, I'm Ranger Laura. I work at Redwood National and State Parks in environmental education. Today, we're gonna learn and go on an incredible journey about my favorite animal in the park. What do you think that might be? Salmon, you're absolutely correct. Join me as we dive into Redwood Creek and meet a very special friend, Chinook the Salmon. We like to call her Nook for short. At this stage in her life, Nook is just a tiny egg snuggled into a bed of gravel with her thousands of brothers and sisters. She soon transforms into a tiny fish with her yolk sac still attached. She won't start eating critters until her fry stage. In about 100 days from the, her start as a tiny egg, she is now a small fry. While transforming into the smolt stage of her life cycle, she will spend a little over a year eating bugs called macroinvertebrates, watching out for predators and smelling her way down Redwood Creek towards the ocean. She makes a pit stop in the estuary where she will transition from freshwater to saltwater. For the next several years or so, Nook will explore the Pacific Ocean with other types of Pacific salmon, like coho, sockeye, chum, and pink. While she's in the ocean, she almost triples in size as she eats lots of krill and small fish, all the while watching out for predators like sea lions, orcas, seals, otters, and humans. When the time is right and the rains flush the rivers, she will soon get a homing urge. She begins to smell her way back to her natal stream and makes her way swimming up Redwood Creek. Even though she is almost home, danger still lurks around the bend. She will need to keep an eye out for ospreys, eagles, bears, and humans. But unlike some of her relatives, she does not need to worry about leaping up a large waterfall or dams. Focused on her mission, she doesn't eat. She just continues to press on up the creek. Along the way, she gathers a mate or two. When she finds the right type of gravel, she uses her tail to fan out a nest called a red. Then she lays her thousands of little eggs and a male Chinook salmon fertilizes them. After starting a new generation of salmon and exhausted from her long, arduous journey, she settles to the bottom of the creek. Her body will decompose and she will become an important part of the nutrient cycle. The nutrients she brings from the ocean may even get taken in by a big old redwood tree. Fish that live through this type of life cycle are called anadromous. In Redwood National and State Parks, we have two types of salmon, coho and chinook, and two types of trout, steelhead and coastal cutthroat trout. These fish live the anadromous life cycle, just like our friend, Nook. I'm Ranger Laura, wishing you well on your own incredible journey. Man, oh man, that was quite the adventure. Who knew that our fish species went through so much? Whew. Come back next week and we're going to FaceTime with Ranger Steven and he's going to tell us all about one of the cutest species in our park. It's going to be our salamanders. He's going to tell us all about their special adaptations and why the redwood forest is such a perfect place for them. Thank you for watching this episode of Flat Hats at Home. My name is Ranger Allie, joined today by Ranger Laura, bringing a little bit of Redwood National and State Park from our home to yours. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like or maybe even give us a share. Redwood National and State Parks is committed to bringing as much of our park to your home as we can during this unprecedented time. So please stay healthy and stay safe.